Hello, hello my dear students. Welcome back to our War on the Sea Let's Play series as the US Naval Forces. Um, I believe in the previous episode we did in fact hit a Congo battleship which is looking to threaten our CV task force at the moment with quite a sizable um, array of ships actually. The Congo itself of course. Um, I believe it had a couple word to cowl cruisers from memory and there is quite the sizable um, supply convoy with it as well so it might be looking um, it's looking more towards Milne Bay at the moment but of course uh, it could go either way either there or to Guadalcanal so far it is rather rather stuck between the two of them so it's making us guess make us guess where it's going we can certainly look at uh, scouting that out and I think that's the objective for today is to make sure we uh, hit the Congo's task force again provided we do scout it out but that's absolutely fine we have the tools to do that so without any further ado let's get to the strategic map and have a look at that shall we so first thing to do is uh, double check what our aircraft are doing and they are somewhat in the area over there that is not a problem at all we can't so launch any kingfishers out there from Santa Isabel just yet because we have lost those two patrolling zeros and roofs from uh, the Shortland Islands and the Zwickak which we did of course spot last time as well going to keep the drum out here patrolling at the moment so we're going to bring the tambour out as well to look at that uh, we are of course going to launch some more lightnings in that direction as well uh, with some bombs armed to take that out. Going to patrol outside of Rabul first to see um, if it has pushed forwards from there. Otherwise we can go straight up and see what happens with that. Uh, we're going to launch some bow fighters as well with similar armament. Going to go out in a similar direction actually. Just like that, just to uh, make sure we don't miss anything over there. It is tempting to launch some lightnings out here as well. Um, how far might they be able to travel from here with uh, 837? They can go rather far actually, so let's do that with bombs. Um, I'm expecting these really to uh, pick up um, attention from high officers from the bases as well though that would be the problem there we are going to carry on with our um, scouting task forces and uh, scouting planes over here um, otherwise I think we're going to bring the Colorado down actually and that's going to screen for our aircraft carriers and that's actually going to pick up the Pensacola along the way which is in the task force over here with the um, the destroyers and the Bogues I think that was the plan originally anyway so that's what we're going to do there we do have our fuel cargo ships um, just sitting around waiting for us to be resupplied that should happen um, fairly soon, fairly soon, I think, which is not a problem at all. Uh, we are, of course, going to retreat with this task force back down um, to Guadalcanal for now, and it will wait for the invasion of the Shortland Islands to be complete before picking up some supplies from there, any surplus supplies and troops from there, and pushing them back onto Guadalcanal to help um, with the upgraded airfield on there. Um, Having said that then, I think we're going to jump straight in and I'll see you with an action report in just a second. Okay, so uh, it's once again the flight of the um, unending fuels hiabuses. Um, <laughs> it's just, uh, they've come from an uh, unidentified um, base all the way over to our task force of Bogues. We were able to put our brain to action and um, get some emergency uh, wildcats out just as we had the notification come up. So far only nine uh, Hyabasas just uh, sending out some orders for all of our aircraft to attack like that. Going to uh, double up um, some orders while uh, we are engaging them just to make sure it's uh, an unfair fight for the enemy and hopefully put two uh, Wildcats onto one plane for most of the enemy there. And that would be just nice indeed. Lovely, lovely stuff there. Does appear to be the case. Able to do that just about. They are taking evasive maneuvers. Nothing else spotted just yet. It's just strange that we're seeing them. They are armed with bombs, but oh, it's just strange, really. Um, <laughs> clearly hoping to hit something. And they found it. Very nice target, but uh, we're never um, guaranteed to get that, of course. Just uh, going to wait for some lovely uh, little targets there. Don't know where that one's going. Behind us, that wildcat. Um, are they keeping their orders uh, set here? Um, just very quickly, it does appear to be the case, which is brilliant stuff. Uh, might sometimes find, uh, as I'm <laughs> sure you've heard me say, that um, they do like to change their orders without being told so. Which is rather cheeky. I'm going to try and get this one to fire out because uh, mm. that one's on uh, a wildcat. was looking in trouble there. 
uh, just about in range but refuses to fire lovely stuff <laughs> <laughs> That's what we'd like to see. <laughs> this should be fairly simple. We're actually doing very, very well. We have shot down a lot of them already, um, at least half of them, and that is going very, very well. This one, not too sure what he wants to do. It looks like he has changed his target just there. Uh, it looks like everyone has, actually. Not too sure which one they're targeting. Perhaps it's number two here. Uh, very strange that they do that. Didn't do anything myself. Did not give them any orders in between there. Yeah, I'm on. Just about outside of range there, I think, aren't they? Yeah, there we go. Um, how are they doing it? They've changed their orders yet again. I think that might be because I gave a manual fire order there. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt for that. But otherwise, unacceptable. Unacceptable. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Going full speed. The Hyabas is uh, deceptively quick there. Uh, it looks like we're on the last couple now. That would be lovely stuff. Mm hmm Come on. Come on. Catch up. Going to increase his speed there. Struggling a bit. In fact, they all need to have their speed increased by the looks of it. Lagging behind there. And now, just, oh, he just can't quite get the angle, can he? There we go. Come on. He's smoking. Just a couple hits. Mm. Lovely stuff, last one now, and that would be easy peasy. <laughs> easy, easy peasy. But it is really weird that these are coming out of nowhere. Um, Habsters do have a fair range. I think it's uh, around 880 kilometers, I think, from memory. Um, it is rather large for um, these land based planes. Um, I don't think the Oscars were known for a great fuel supply. Um, mostly being, I think, army support, uh, really. Uh, we'll keep this uh, over the task force there. Um, I've forgotten what it was called now, exactly. Let's double check. Task Force 28, lovely stuff. I really should name that properly. There's two Task Force 28s, because why wouldn't there be? I'll uh, just keep them patrolling around. It does appear we have some submarines about as well. I did try scouting one to the south of Guadalcanal with some dauntlesses uh, because nothing really better. I wasn't sure if it was a submarine or a destroyer uh, through the destroyer icon there. Um, but we didn't manage to hit it. It did submerge. It may well be going for our carriers now uh, because it did come down to the south under uh, or above uh, Renault Island there. Um, otherwise, nothing else really to report. No sightings there. Just fending off some planes um, um, on our retreats from the Shortland Islands, but they should have nothing to um, take us on now from there. We did sink all of their um, Jakes, Emilys, and Mavises, so perhaps maybe some roofs might come out of there, but otherwise, uh, nothing else. So let's keep, carry on, keep carrying on, keep going and see what happens. Hopefully we get this ruddy blade of Congo. Um, we've sent some wildcats out in this uh, position. No sight of it just yet, which is very worrying actually. Uh, I might send out some kitty hawks actually having said that. Um, what's the range? They don't really have a huge range, so I'm just gonna send them out to scout around um, just for sight, a very quick um, uh, um, thing like that's patrol route, I think. And that'll be fine like that. Just for sights, like I say, not expecting to hit anything. Um, just so we know for sure they aren't coming towards uh, Milne Bay um, like that. So let's carry on. Well, well, well. It appears we have a rather, rather a pickle uh, on our hands. Um, it looks like the enemy Zwiekak has launched a full flight of vowels to hit our supply convoy, which uh, invaded the Shortland Islands. Luckily, we did manage to get some um, wildcats out there just in time on a patrol path um, to get rid of these. And we're very, very lucky that that was the case. Otherwise, they would have absolutely wrecked our um, flights, or our flight, sorry, our um, task force here. But and the inverse has happened and we have managed to wreck all of these um, as the uh, valves so far so far I'm just going to give some final orders to get this last flight because it didn't quite have the numbers available to do that in one go there she uh, yeah these wildcats should be able to turn around just in time to get that uh, stray valve over there just looking at the models of the valves actually they're really really beautiful actually I love the, um, the shade of white on them is so nice. <laughs> just sort of spend a little second to appreciate uh, the work people put into this game actually because uh, we spent enough time bashing it. <laughs> Although having said that, are we changing our orders without letting us know again? Doesn't appear so. 
doesn't really matter only one vowel left now and that is brilliant stuff I'm sure we'll see another flight maybe some zeros come in now uh, because we have protected ourselves and of course they know where we are oh we lost a wildcat no that's very very unlucky to the tail gunner there very very unlucky but uh, I think uh, a sacrifice we're willing to take uh, if it means our supply convoy is that much safer so let's go into the map 12 out of 12. See, uh, the distance from the Shortland Dines is quite large, and we haven't spotted the carrier um, as of yet. Uh, certainly not in this area just yet. I'm going to send the Tambor, I think, a little bit closer to the islands there, maybe to uh, uh, patrol in that sort of area. Um, otherwise, we may well redirect some planes um, from their patrol paths um, away from the more northerly edges over here and put them towards uh, the Solomon Sea area in this direction. Um, we'll see how that goes for now. We'll keep them on their current paths, actually, because we do have some sort of scouse aircraft um, coming past down um, between Renault Island and the New Hebrides. And that is rather worrying. Don't have any spare aircraft just yet, unless, of course, uh, we change these lightnings past. But I think they're in. Uh, they're covering a fair distance there, a fair area, that we will spot something if they're there. What we could do... Um, is launch, I think, some Havocs. Um, and we'll launch... <sighs> don't really want to launch all of them at once. I think we'll launch six, two flights of six. Uh, we'll put them on a longer range there, like that. We'll take another flight. Uh, later on, of course, because uh, they're <laughs> not allowed to at the moment. But that should pick anything up if there is anything over there. Um, they're taking this sort of direction, so uh, we should have spotted them if they were over here, which would have been more, the more likely case, since that's where we last saw a large uh, task force. Um, does make me wonder what is going on, what's bullshittery the AI is up to. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll find out soon. The Colorado is uh, on course to uh, meet the... Um, Bogue over here and pick up the Pensacola. I think we'll do that right now. Otherwise, I will see you in a second with yet another action report. Alrighty then, joining me uh, right in the middle of a dogfight here. <laughs> I understand a tad annoying to come halfway through, but I'm just sorting out orders, people being rather frustrating. So we've got um, a couple of things to worry about here. We do have a dogfight with some massive uh, flights of zeros over here, but we do also have some vowels coming in from this direction. Only two spotted at the moment. I did, uh, I did order some people to go over here. These um, particular wildcats in particular, or well, specifically, and they're just not fucking going. <laughs> just not doing as I tell them to. Honestly, changing their orders all the fucking time. This is why I hate this game now. <laughs> uh, I do apologise for moaning all the time, but it's just it's very, very frustrating. Because um, we're going to be losing this engagement now. And half of it will be because the, um, our planes can't just stick to their orders. Uh, it's so, so annoying. And I really don't want to lose uh, any ships because of it. it does it like uh, the sticking to the orders we've given out for the second. Um, do have some people converging on similar aircraft there. I'm just going to get rid of that one very quickly. It said we spotted something else bearing 108. I believe that is this uh, um, scout over here. Um, it's just, like I say, rather frustrating. We're still going over to this, aren't we? Yes, we are. That is brilliant stuff. So let's change some orders around again. Go for these two here. They do have some zeros on their flanks. So we're going to get this one over. No, nope. uh, just target that to fall. Uh, he's going over. Lovely stuff. That should be fine just there. Have lost one Wildcat. Um, another plane has been spotted. Another flight of zeros coming in. It looks like the carry has launched literally everything it can at us. Now we are downing zeros here and there though, which is not a problem. This wildcat seems to have changed its attack pattern once again. Lovely stuff. <laughs> They're so lucky you can't court martial people in this game. I would have. And again, look at that. <laughs> it's changing around. These um, z these vowels are going to get their attacks off simply because. Our planes can't do as they're told. That's <laughs> so frustrating. I wonder if it's even though um, I wonder if it's because uh, even though 
we do have our Wildcats on individual attack orders. Maybe I'm telling what was the lead plane in their original formation um, to go and attack. And maybe they're trying to remember um, what formation they were in. That's all I could think of, to be honest. Um, otherwise, it really makes zero sense. This one's going to get his attack off. <clears throat> Not a lot we can do about that, unfortunately. Won't be a sunk ship, but it will uh, damage how many supplies we can take hold of. In fact, it did go down. Ah, I did get his bomb off. But uh, a general uh, empty uh, compartment there should be fine from that. Not a problem there. We do have a peat coming in. That is a short range scout as well, which is rather interesting. Looks like our Wildcats have changed their orders yet again. Who would have guessed? Who would have fracking guessed? <laughs> Don't even know where they're going now. What are they targeting? Seemingly nothing, just following waypoints that no one has set for them. Lovely stuff. Okay, you do that. <laughs> this is why I did not start um, this uh, engagement for you from the beginning, because I'm not entirely sure how entertaining it is to watch me moan about uh, how people uh, do not comply with their fucking orders. <laughs> More frustrating for you, I'm sure, uh, just watching me moan. So we're going to try stopping that. We're going to try stopping that. How is this guy doing? He's just climbing to get a, a nice attacking altitude there. Zero trying to climb to space, apparently. Look at that. I'm glad the AI is having some difficulties as well. <laughs> Where are they going? Trying to reach the sun. Interesting. Interesting tactic. Uh, looks like they want to retreat, really. Um, you know what? I'm quite fine with giving them that. I'm just going to make sure we attack these um, scouts. They are armed with bombs, actually. That's rather worrying. Could get that off. He has got it off. That's going for a destroyer. Somewhat damaged destroyer, I believe. No, it's a Fletcher. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Not going to be able to dodge that. Just going to hope it does miss there, unfortunately. Should have spotted that a lot sooner. I thought I saw it come down there. Did it not go anywhere? Did you see it go? It seems to come down in this direction, uh, but uh, not hit anything. Just disappear. All right, see, that's fine. I'll take that. Lovely stuff. Are these zeros still climbing to space? Not necessarily, but they are retreating. That suggests they're either low on fuel or out of ammo. But it looks like our wildcats are trying to do the same. So, um. While they are doing that, I might as well try shooting them down. You see the funniest things in this game, don't you? Really do. The strangest things. Very, very strange indeed. They've changed their speed strangely as well. Interesting. Well, now they're dodging away. Of course. Get that one. Is uh, he going to turn around onto them? No, of course not. Why would he? Lovely stuff. Get that one. Uh, is he going to clip this one? Nope. They change their orders again? Yes, they have. Lovely stuff. Mm. Well, I think I will see you on mm. the strategic map. I won't bore you with this uh, anymore. Um, I'll see you in a second once we've cleared this up, I think. Mm. And that is finally over. Uh, it's really sad to have lost those two wildcats that we did, um, if that's what the zeros are going to do. But I'm going to keep them... Um, even though we did uh, destroy all the zeros and such over there, I'm very sure that there'll be something else over here. We have redirected a wildcat to scout uh, where we thought they were coming from, and the tambor is going to come around to the Shortland Islands in case uh, the um, carrier has snuck its way over to here. Um, but otherwise, I think we're going to bring the Colorado up as well, because it does suggest that the carrier is in range very, very close, because it's certainly not over towards Rabul. Uh, because uh, the vowels do certainly have a short range. Let's just say it's roughly 450. So that would be anywhere in this sort of radius. Let's just extend that a little bit more. Yeah, this sort of radius over here. And that is rather, rather close. So uh, let's carry on. Um, pray there's no more bullshittery. <laughs> just play in game normally, please. <laughs> 
And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have Sisalis. It is on the Shortland Islands. We do, like I say, have the Tambor very, very close. So we're going to keep um, this Kingfish that we launched from the Pensacola in the area. Just a circle round like that. That would be lovely stuff. Um, otherwise, we could try and hiss it with Mitchells um like that um how does the range work that's absolutely fine let's go with that go straight over um i think we'll recall these fighters if possible i can't quite click them i don't really want to cycle through everything until i get there but we're gonna have to um recall those fighters and send them out oh we just skipped over them uh, i'll do that in a second uh, recall the fires and send them out with the Mitchells. That should be fine there. Actually, we could try and send some more from both of these um, carriers. And they'll group up together rather nicely. That will give us some very nice air cover for the Mitchells. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'll see you when we are in range, I think. Unless something happens in between, of course. Okay, so unfortunately um, the carrier has um, retreated from the Shortland Islands and circumvented our Tambor, which is rather, rather unfortunate. What the problem here was apparently we were alerted to a group of torpedo bombers uh, with our Wildcats trying to pursue and keep sight on the, um, the Zwikaku. But it's not a Zwikaku. It's a Hiyo. And um, what's even more worrying or just as worrying is we have a Yamato yeah <laughs> I was thinking of coming into contact with the Colorado task force but eh, maybe not maybe not having said that though look at the escorts it's got um, one Takao heavy cruiser one that looks like a Sendai here um, and just loads and loads of destroyers um, mixed mixed uh, class by the looks of it um, but oh, it's a very interesting composition actually it's very interesting Fubuki um, Yugumo Kagero sort of things here very interesting stuff yeah Shiratsu there but the Hiyo um, does have rather a nasty air group with it uh, if we go and identify it and bring this up for you if you go to, I believe, leave it CV. Here we go. There is, there are two in the series, though. Hiyo and Junyo. The aircraft carriers are all the zeros we shot down. The uh, 18 dive bombers and 18 uh, Kates. Um, surprised we haven't actually sighted them just yet. So they were towards the south um, on the strategic map, at least. Um, but yeah, that is what rather a rather a bother there. I'm not sure our um, Mitchells will keep um, will be able to catch up with that. They do have 400 kilometers worth of fuel left there. That will bring them to about here-ish, but we'll see. We'll keep, of course, our planes in uh, line of sight there for them. Bring them all up just to uh, scout around there. And we'll, of course, keep up uh, going with the uh, Tambor there. And we'll try and catch them with the uh, Geso as well and try and pinch them in like that. Um, certainly not going to pursue with the Colorado. In fact, that is going to come back down in this area here to uh, give closer support to our carriers and they can uh, protect each other in tandem like that as per the usual arrangement. Let's carry on. Uh, it's rather an interesting development there. Uh, let's see what happens, I suppose. Well, in just the last few hours of daytime and the last few kilometers of fuel for our Mitchells, we have come into contact with that Hiyo and Yamato again. Um, I'm definitely going to hit the Hiyo first because that is certainly the larger priority there. Um, it's got more of an impact, of course, on our plans than the Yamato does until, of course, the Yamato comes out of nowhere. Going to target the Hiyo, of course, to make things a little more visual there. Lovely stuff. Um, I think we're going to go for the um, broadside attack here. Not going to mess around um, with line of heads and such today. Just going to go in, um, go for the emergency strike here, I think. Um, and just increase our speed on the approach there. Visibility should be terrible, yeah, 57%. So it should be fairly safe from um, AA as we come in here. I would like to see, unfortunately we can't tighten up our formation. So what we're gonna do is actually change our formation to something a little tighter, go for the box. Um, generally, um, certainly more for protection from uh, fighters, but as you can see, going a rather tight formation there. And that should really give us something to work with uh, when we drop our bombs there. And that is lovely stuff. 
because uh, the Vic previously, uh, of course, spreads out a little too much for my liking. Just a little too much. Uh, so I think we'll be just fine here. Just fine indeed. And that will be rather, rather nice. I'm going to tell them to attack from here. They are going individually though. I'm going to tell them to form up again, and that's because I had them all selected individually. So you're going to tell them to attack again as a formation. Now I think that's where we've been falling down previously actually, and we tried our previous line of heads, is that I had kept the whole squadron selected individually, and then told them to attack after telling them to form up. And that is why we have missed, I think. But uh, we're doing okay, just hopefully don't lose anything. We are just about to drop. There we go. I ah, lost to Mitchell just as he dropped there, but it's okay, that's absolutely fine. Um, just going to tell them to uh, take a um, southerly route there to go to their flank, and we can watch this, I think. Fingers crossed, couple hits be lovely stuff. Please, please, please. Come on. Mm, three very nice hits there, but I don't think that's going to sink. There were rather heavy bombs. It's heavy and moderate. Um, that's really now down to any fires and flooding. Um, so the sea state is three, so rather mild, and the wind speed is also rather uh, tepid there. Um, <laughs> so uh, nothing too spicy there. We did lose three Mitchells on that as well, which is rather sad actually. But uh, I think. Well, the thing is, I don't think the AI really pays attention to whether a, um, the deck is out of commission or not. Because that would definitely be out of commission with all the bomb hits there. But, so we'll see, we'll see. We are going to lose sight of that now because we can't launch any more aircraft uh, in time. Uh, we are just going to have to rely on catching up with the Tambor and Geso for sight and aggression there. Which is rather unfortunate. It shouldn't have any torpedo protection. Uh, it has 10%, which is basically nothing, which is excellent stuff. I don't think the fire there, they're going to do much at all for us, which is rather a shame. But it is listing a tad. It does have a bit of a, a lean on it. It's a rather nice design, actually, the Heel. Rather nice looking ship. But uh, yeah, it doesn't really help us either, does it? So uh, let's retreat out and see what we can do with the. Gato and such. So it is about here ish. We're going to tell these um, lightning, uh, lightnings, uh, Mitchells to retreat, form up or follow up like that, I think, and bring the Gato in like that. So let's carry on and I'll uh, catch you back in a minute. Alrighty then, so it looks like that uh, submarine has come back to tangle with Guadalcanal. So we launched some air cobras uh, to try and strafe it down. Hopefully we'll finally get there before it um, submerges and get some nice damage off of there. But we are going to need to dive um, before we get over there. And that's what's going to waste some time here, unfortunately. Uh, it, is it diving immediately? does appear to be. Very slowly. Come on, guys. I think you got this. I think you've finally got this. <laughs> Coming just close enough there, I think, but it's going to come down to their aim. Ah, that's a nice first attack run on there. Very nice indeed. Oh, that's a lot of fire coming in as well. Not many explosions, though. Not many at all. How is the report look on that? Critical damage. This may well go down. I'm going to tell them to circle back round and attack again. Uh, like that, but it's looking like it will be able to submerge before that happens. In fact, it's going down right now. So what we're going to do is uh, stay in um, formation here, um, mm. and hopefully we'll get a message come around saying that it has indeed succumbed to its damage. So we're going to wait around just for a little bit. You know, watch it there. It is still going down is rather a shame. I was hoping it might have some sort of flooding, really. But uh, no such luck. We'll survive critical damage. <laughs> How's the report looking now? Yeah, still uh, okay. It's not managing to recover, but it's not taking on any flooding. And that's what we really needed there. Would have loved some flooding on that. But uh, no such luck. Looks like it is going to get away there. So we're going to have to come out there, I think and uh, try that again rather soon. Let's tell them to go back home. Uh, we have spotted a couple of things about, it looks to be some more submarines. Um, this particular task force is a Yubari and a uh, Midakaze. Not too bothered about that at all, uh, I'm afraid, so I'm going to leave that alone. 
Uh, might do the same with these um, over here at the moment. So one Wildcat, not going to do a lot to a submarine, is it? We've seen that uh, 12 Air Cobras can't do it. So unfortunately, that's going to be the case. We have been resupplied. Um, so we are going to send um, some more engineering and um, fuel over to Guadalcanal. And it looks like we are almost in range to pick up from the Australia bases as well, which is brilliant stuff. So we're going to do that. And uh, let's see about that, shall we? Take some cargo. Yeah, there we go. We've got so much engineering to take from there. Um, let's take, um, I think... Um, just one engineering so far. We're going to take some supplies as well, actually. Going to do that. Going to get the Simaroons, of course, to take all the fuel they can. I'm going to take some supplies onto the uh, destroyers as well. And that would be lovely stuff. That is brilliant. Let's go all the way back now, then. And go straight up to Guadalcanal. And this group can actually go down to um, the New Hebrides, I think, now, having thought about that, and go and pick up the supplies from there. Looking fairly decent on the Shortland Islands. Might want to put a few more troops on there. I'm not too sure, though. It is burning slowly, but it's in our favour so far. But that may change over the next few days. We shall see. Uh, I think one more engagement, perhaps, and that will do it for today. Been a bit slow today. Not a lot going on. Just not been able to uh, keep in contact with the enemy there, have we? Uh, we did miss the uh, Yamato and Hiyo with our um, submarines overnight, so couldn't keep contact with them. Uh, you can see nothing's really happened over the day, but I look at the time as well, which is rather unfortunate there. So we'll have a look on the next day and see what happens there. It appears we have the most minor of engagements. I thought this might be a uh, submarine attacking our Colorado task force, but it's actually a single uh, destroyer there trying to go for us. It looks like it's going to try and fire off some torpedoes, actually, there. They are circling round. Let's try and identify this very quickly. It's not going to make a lot of difference with the amount of firepower we have on there, um, but what is it, actually? It's a DE... Um Possibly a Molmi, no, maybe not. Um, we're going to uh, identify it before it goes down, that's a question. <laughs> Two torpedo launches suggest it's a Mutski, actually. Uh, let's have a look at that. Um, yeah, I think so, let's do that. Lovely stuff there. Yeah, that looks to be the case. Solution is going up, but it's already half sunk. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's dropping torpedoes, but I think that would be um, far too late there. We'll be able to retreat before they get to us, I think. Just double check everyone's firing a high explosive, because we are still on... Um, we are still on fire at will. Didn't really get the chance there. The... Um, <laughs> the Colorado even firing for its main guns. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> Try and get a, a watch over that. I'd like to hear the sound effects from this actually. Very, very nice indeed. Ah, it's down. Downed. <laughs> a valiant effort there. <laughs> but uh, foolish, of course. Ah, brilliant stuff. Didn't get any uh, command points for that. It's a bit of a shame, but okay. May well get intercepted by a submarine that was over here actually. Um, by one of our task forces, but not a problem. We'll sort this out, I'm sure, fairly easily. Uh, just off of the port side of our Jenkins here, um, I'm expecting the torpedoes to curve heavily towards the Northampton. So what I'm going to do is break with this full speed and turn into them and actually try and go straight for that um, submarine there. Of course, the Northampton, I think, best idea might be to... Um, this is a difficult one. I think we're going to... All hair, all uh, reverse like that. Actually, um, that'd be very, very nice. Um, hopefully, the torpedoes don't curve so much that um, that's a bother. Would not be ideal there. Not be great. Uh, we might uh, tell them to turn round. Of course, we'll see how the torpedoes curve round. But yeah, it's right next to us, so we do have a sonar contact with it. And actually, the torpedoes, um, it's a strange curvature there. Just getting a line on, aren't they? But I think we can calm down with our speed on the uh, Fletcher here. So we get right on top of that and get some depth charges ready there. 
and I think what we can do is start going straight here and go straight towards that. The Northampton needs to, I think, increase its speed and turn around, I think, um, to its starboard. Looks like the torpedo is really going for the Colorado there, so that's going to increase its speed and turn to starboard as well. And I think everything else shall as well. Seems like a best of ideas there. Um, so that we don't turn into them. That would be brilliant. We're going to keep an eye on them, of course. That is the main issue here. We're going to slow down our, uh, our uh, destroyer here. Keep an eye on these torpedoes. Don't know if you can see on your screen. They're just on a line over here coming down this way, following my cursor. Uh, does appear that the uh, torpedoes are spreading towards the Colorado there. So this is going to be rather difficult. Because uh, it's going to be quite a fat ship, actually. I think we might just catch one over here. Let's try turning into it over there. Definitely going to catch one torpedo with that, actually. Because uh, we just didn't spot the spread. And it did go rather wide there, actually. Might be able to we turn our speed down a little, turn a little tighter there. Going to catch it on the bow, I think. Yeah, there we go. There we go. What's that done for us? Yeah, very narrowly missed our magazine there. Everything on the bow out of commission there. And that is very, very sad. Should not have pushed this Colorado task force up uh, like we have done. Going to uh, make sure we don't hit or turn anything else into that now. That would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> be rather, rather nice. Let's just carry on straight with these. Uh, Farragut can turn around as well. Juno, how are you looking? I think we turned just in time there to avoid that. So this is going to uh, sit down and stay still. Jenkins, how are we looking? We've forgotten to actually look for the submarine now. Just trying to avoid. And we can't quite see it now. So what we're going to do is calm down with that. Try and pick up the uh, submarine on sonar once again there. What do we do with the mayor there? I think that's a decent idea to carry on uh, on that turn and then just calm down like that. We're out of the arc of the torpedoes now. Farraguts, what are you doing? You need to turn around a little more, mate. Just a little more. And the Pensacola, yep, we may have a small collision here. That's so sad that the Colorado hasn't seen any action yet. It's already taken a torpedo there. The bow completely out of commission there. I can't have anything in this game, can I? <laughs> Just not allowed anything decent. I'm so sorry to all the people who've asked uh, for a Colorado, but uh, that's not its day. There we go, picked it up again. Did overshoot it a little bit there. Going to uh, also uh, tell the um, Jenkins to uh, try and pick that up, and we'll get that in a second. Just making sure the Pensacola itself doesn't turn into the torpedoes now. And that should be okay there. Yeah, I think that's just fine. Get a tell it to stop and focus on uh, getting uh, our revenge now. Can't land a torpedo without being sunk. We're going to make sure everything else is stopped, actually. Just a second. I think we're okay there. Um, all of our, yeah, uh, all of our crews doing what they can over here, but uh, not not, uh, not enough. We do have some permanent flooding and permanently uh, destroyed compartments there which is rather a shame. The general efficiency of the ship though has not been hindered too much. Speed is now 85 uh, total percent and uh, other efficiency 94. Um, just a bit of a list there. If it does take on much more flooding in this area it probably will go down. How does that say on paper? Moderate damage. Interesting, interesting. Well we're going to uh, speed ahead. Try and get this ruddy bloody submarine while we can. Should really bring up uh, another destroyer actually to help with that. And uh, that's uh, going to be the form of the Mayo over there. That's going to increase its speed to catch up I think. And then we can go over and uh, stay with that. I'll be back in a second when we're in range and able to attack this. Alright then, so it looks like we might just be in range here. We can just about see the submarine on my cursor here. Uh, we are right above it with the Jenkins now, so we're going to look at getting some depth charges off, of course. Revenge for the Colorado. Like I say, uh, eye for an eye. Ship for a ship. And oh, this is going to be nice. It's going to be very nice indeed. Just going to make sure we overtake it a tad. 
Our current speed should be decent enough for that. We don't just uh, increase our speed a tad because I'm getting impatient. That is all it comes down to there. <laughs> Lost the sonar contact, but because of the wonders of the uh, cheat view. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we know where it is, of course. We are going to slow back down again. We're going to match its speed as uh, believed uh, 10 knots. And that should be just fine there. In fact, we're going to start dropping off some depth charges right about now, I think. That would be great. Let's see how that goes. Rather a wide spread on them. can just about see them coming out down here and over here. But that one's looking uh, more on top there. Just go over the submarine here, get a better view of it. Uh, nice, uh, nice destinations. Rather close. There we go. That's looking good, isn't it? Looking very, very nice. Might just drop um, another couple loads onto it there. Just check how our position is there. Looking very nice. Overtake it just a little bit, so I'm going to start reversing over it. And we'll be just fine over there, I think. Yeah, there we go. Just get some depth charges on its bow. And there we go. Instantly down. Brilliant stuff. We need to double check a posthumous um, uh, identification of that to see which type of submarine it is and see where we are with that. So that's what we're going to do now. Let's go to enemy losses. And it was a type B. Lovely stuff. Okay. So, um, how does that leave us with those submarines? They really didn't have much at all, did they? You sunk all of the Type A's. And they have one, two more Type B's left. And that is brilliant stuff. They will have uh, the Mob 1's. Actually, I think it's the Mob 1's that aren't available. The Type C's are certainly available. And they're rather dangerous. So they don't get any scout planes. But so they get um, a massive number of uh, torpedoes available and they can fire eight at a time, which is rather, rather dangerous. Looking forward to seeing them in the future then. <laughs> but I think that is all we have time for today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, been a bit of a slow one, hasn't it? Uh, a few surprises here and there. Some bullshittery from, uh, the a from the AI and their zeros going to space, but uh, it suits us just fine. Um, hopefully the next one uh, will have some more action to it. So we might be able to engage that Heo again uh, and send that to the bottom. But thank you very much for watching. I have been the Edify Gamer and I hope your nights and days are auspicious.